Hello and herzlich willkommen to Esther Paddy's Minecraft Seed Finder, where I search for a seed for your Minecraft world. Today, this seed, you won't believe me, we spawn in an ice spikes biome. I've been looking for a seed for you where you spawn in an ice spikes and the one that I found is quite epic because it also has all biomes with just in 2300 blocks which is not a lot so you can find everything you need quite close by and have this epic spawn. If we just fly up you will see the dimensions of this, it's never ending here so yeah this is quite kind of huge and I think I haven't seen anybody using this as a spawn. Maybe it's the wrong time in the year to show this off, but I found this and just wanted to share it with you. And it looks even better if we take a look on the map. So let's do that real quick. And what you can see here is that we have a kind of perfect uh, circle around spawn with the ice spikes and then a circle around that with the ice biome, which separates the rest of the world from the spawn which I think is quite cool because then you could have on a server your spawn in the ice spikes bi biome a city or something and then around you would have kind of a like a dead zone and then the bases out in the nice looking green area world and if we take a look we've got so many biomes just attached to the ice biome here so we've got forests, we've got uh, jungle, we've got extreme hills, plains then this is more forest, a quite huge sunflower forest. And uh, then on this side uh, we've got more extreme hills. And then a bit further out we also have got the roofed forest. Then over here a bit of desert and over here a bit of desert. And also the mesa over here is quite huge. And down here we've got then the mushroom island and also the mega tiger. So what else do you need? Let's take a look in game how the uh, yeah, ice biome connects to the spawn ice spikes and then to the surroundings. So here's the game again and now I think we should fly something that is like northwest. So this direction. May we go just west first and a bit lower down so you can see it better. Um, yeah, as you can see we've also got a bit of uh, tiger here so you will get the spruce to build at spawn. And uh, then this is not too far out to reach then the site. I guess this is one of the furthest uh, site, site from spawn. But uh, still here's the extreme hills already. So uh, it's a quite perfect distance to have then bases spread around. And uh, if we just follow this now you can see that we will reach then the um, ocean I guess this is here because uh, we are flying a bit south and uh, now we can take a look in the other direction real quick because uh, here's the jungle already then the extreme hills we just were before and uh, if the chunks would load in that would be quite a lot nicer I was here before I was loading all the chunks to avoid these issues but uh, yeah then if we just follow the edge of the jungle here we come to the plains area and uh, then north from the plains there is then also the sunflower, uh, not sunflower, the flower forest I wanted to say. Um, over here a nice ravine cutting through the area so the surroundings is really beautiful to look at. And here we go this is a quite huge uh, flower forest so you can get all the different dyes from here and all the different flowers. But uh, yeah in general I guess the map was the uh, most positive thing about this. So here it is once more. I hope that you enjoyed today's Seed Spotlight. If you did then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then have a great day.